just this year alone, many people have already disappeared under the strangest of circumstances. For example, many of the people who vanish do so when they are by their lonesome, and they tend to do things like venture off into the worst places possible, and are sometimes found in areas that defy all logic. Sometimes these people are found in areas already previously searched and without shoes, and just sometimes they are never found at all. Join me as I count down 10 more of the strangest National Park missing person cases out there. Do know that these are only a fraction of cases that are brought to the surface, while many others are brushed aside or hidden from the public. Number 10 In April of this year, a 21-year-old man named Darian Lucero, also known as Spirit Sparrow, was camping with his dog near the North Fork of the Sacramento River near Lake Siskiyou and Mount Shasta when he mysteriously disappeared. Not much else is known about this case except that Darian was a transit with very little family and friends. He was a solo traveler and spent the majority of his time connecting with the outdoors. He also had a dog whom he was very close to, and eventually the dog was found wandering in the Shasta wilderness, about 30 miles from the camp. This case remains unsolved. Number 9 On July 30th, 2007, an 80-year-old hiker and backpacker named Tarina Bonaventura disappeared near Vogel Singh High Sierra Camp in Yosemite National Park. Adrian Freeman, a representative of the park, reported that over 1,000 people, including people on foot patrol, air patrol, and dog teams joined in on the search effort to find the missing woman. Tarina was described as an experienced hiker, but had various hip and knee problems that would inhibit any prolonged amount of time spent out on hikes. Searchers are baffled how the 80-year-old could simply vanish given her age and limited physical capabilities. To this day, she has never been found. Number 8 In November of 2014, a 25-year-old Broomfield man named Peter Jeffrey was reported missing after failing to show up for work after a weekend hiking trip in the Rocky Mountains. Search and rescue teams of nearly 100 people combed through 20 square miles of terrain, including alpine, subalpine, and heavily forested wilderness. Extreme winter weather delayed search efforts, but eventually stabilized, allowing the search to continue after a couple days. Several days after his disappearance, Helicopters located his body 200 feet below ledges of the Glacier Gorge drainage system, which is completely off course from his intended target of Long's Peak. Park officials reported that after the body was located, a team was flown to a landing spot, then climbed approximately 1,800 feet to reach the body. The body was found in a very rough area of the park, and it was stated that most people wouldn't even think to hike in such rugged terrain. Peter's cause of death is still being investigated according to the Boulder County Coroner. Number 7 On Sunday, September 20th, 2015, at approximately 4.30 p.m., the Cochise County Sheriff's Office was advised of an abandoned vehicle in Wrestler Park near Portal. The caller advised that the vehicle was in a camping space but there had not been anybody around it for several days and when he checked the interior of the car he noticed some animal food and a camping mattress along with a park pass which was issued on the 13th and was valid for only two days. Sheriff's deputies responded to the area and located the 2015 Mazda parked in the camping space. Upon checking the license plate, it was discovered that the registered owner, Mr. Lawrence Cosden, was listed as a missing person by Tucson Police Department, 
with the last known contact date of September 14, 2015. Search and rescue teams combed the area but could not locate him. To this day, he has never been found. In the area that Lawrence disappeared near the Jerichohua National Monument, two other more well-known cases broke the news. A disabled woman named Janet Casserdrin and a park ranger named Paul Fugit disappeared in that area as well and have never been found. Number 6 In September of 2013, a 64-year-old Ohio attorney named Jean George went missing while climbing Mount Harvard in Colorado. Despite a massive search and rescue effort, there was no sign of Jean and the search was eventually suspended after several weeks. Then in March of 2014, several months after Jean's disappearance, a 20-year-old Colorado Springs hiker discovered the wallet belonging to Jean near the trail leading up to the summits of Mount Harvard on Mount Columbia. Soon thereafter, some of his clothing was located and that eventually led searchers to human remains. Tests confirmed that it was that of Jean George, but no cause of death was ever released. Number 5 In December of 2014, a 60-year-old man named Jim Griffin vanished during his hike in Olympic National Park. Griffin went for a day hike on December 22nd and was reported missing on Christmas Eve when he failed to show up at a dinner. His backpack was found on Christmas Day about 50 feet off of a trail. A can of soda, coffee cup, and a bag of freeze-dried food were left sitting on a nearby log. Nearly two dozen people completed an intensive grid search within 1,000 feet of the backpack and eventually widened their search on steep slopes and heavy brush. The backpack was found approximately one half mile from where Griffin left his car. Immediately after he vanished, weather conditions began to worsen and the search was eventually put on hold. About a month later after his disappearance, in late January of 2015, Search crews backed by dog teams recovered the body of Griffin about a third of a mile and nearly 1,000 vertical feet above the Boulder Creek hiking trail in Olympic Peninsula's Elway Valley. He was found without his shoes and in an area that is not easily accessible and rarely traveled, said park rangers. Number 4 On September 12, 2015, a 52-year-old White Rock man named Neville Jewell parked his vehicle in the Cypress Mountain parking lot and set out on the Howie Sound Crest Trail. Around 2 p.m. that day, he texted his girlfriend to say he had made it to the West Lion and that it had been a strenuous hike. That was the last time anybody heard from him. Cypress staff noticed his vehicle had been seemingly abandoned the following day and asked West Vancouver Police to investigate. North Shore Rescue, joined by volunteers from search and rescue outfits from Lions Bay, Surrey, and Maple Ridge, planned to stay in the area for a few days before deciding whether to continue the search or not. Quote, It's very remote out here, and we've been searching relentlessly for 10 days now. We've had near-freezing temperatures most of those nights, including a significant storm over the weekend. It is very unlikely anyone could have survived out here this long under those conditions, end quote, said Doug Pope. He added, When it's 1 to 2 degrees Celsius and wet, it can cause hypothermia quite quickly. For someone that's not well prepared, with no extra clothing, no shelter, and no real outdoor experience, it would be difficult for somebody to survive 10 days at this time of year up there. After two weeks, the search for Neville was called off and he was never seen again. Number 3 On February 13, 2016, a hiker traveling in the Angeles National Forest saw an abandoned backpack below the Pacific Crest Trail, southeast of Little Jimmy Campground. 
Believing it belonged to another person on the trail, he left it alone. The next day, that same hiker was traveling back from his hike and saw the backpack was still sitting there. He opened the backpack and found an emergency telephone number and called it, reaching the victim's mother in Kansas. She explained that it belonged to her 32-year-old son, Kyle Hunt. An immediate search of the area was initiated by search and rescue teams, lasting late into that night at high elevations of over 7,000 feet and in very cold and icy conditions. The missing hiker's vehicle was located a couple days later on a remote road near a trailhead off of a Big Rock Creek Road near a small enclosed campground. That same day, personnel located Kyle's body on a steep icy slope approximately 500 feet below the Pacific Crest Trail. He was found without any shoes. It is believed that Hunt began a solo hike on Friday, February 12, 2016, with the intention of returning on Sunday, February 14th. He was reportedly an experienced, avid hiker whose death shocked family members and those closest to him. Quote, a preliminary investigation indicates the incident appears to be a recreational accident, according to a sheriff's statement, though an exact cause of death was never released. Number 2 In March of this year, a two-year-old named Chase Martins disappeared while playing outside of his farm home in Austin, Manitoba. Initially, it was thought that Chase had simply wandered away from the home, but after a statement released by the parents, that was an unlikely scenario, considering he never went anywhere without the family dog with him. During the time of his disappearance, the dog was found sound asleep on the porch. When search and rescue were unable to locate Chase in the first couple days of the search, they expanded their efforts and many more volunteers joined in on the effort. Over 400 people on foot and horseback searched creeks and shorelines within a 3 kilometer radius of the home. Dive teams were brought in eventually since most of the dry land around the property had already been combed over. After several days of intense searching, the boy's body was found in a nearby creek that had already been searched several times. Authorities said that the body of water where the boy was found was only about a half a kilometer from his home. Over the years, this same exact scenario has played out in many other cases where the missing individual is located in an area that had already been previously searched numerous times. Number 1 One of the latest and most recent National Park disappearances involved that of a 22-year-old Louisiana woman named Diana Zacharias, who vanished mysteriously at the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park, the same area where numerous others have vanished including Morgan Heimer, Justin Kramer, Drake Kramer, and Bryce Gillies, all within recent times and they have never been found. On April 3rd of this year, the Grand Canyon Regional Communications Center received a phone call reporting a missing individual last known to be at the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park. Zacharias was reported missing by a family member. She arrived at the south rim via Arizona shuttle on April 2nd and was dropped off at the Maswick Lodge. She is believed to have visited Yaki Point and Lookout Studio. Zacharias is described as 22 years old, 5 foot 2, 104 pounds, with short black hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a pink hat, purple fleece, black rimmed glasses, and possibly carrying a small green backpack. I chose this case as number one because it is one of the most recent disappearances out there, and time is of the essence in the search to find her. Anyone with any information on the location or whereabouts of Diana should contact the National Park Service's silent witness line at 925-638-7840. And there you have it. Ten more of the strangest National Park missing person cases out there. 
If there is something we learn from these poor folks, it is that nobody is as safe as they might imagine while venturing out into our favorite national parks and wilderness areas. The summer season is already quickly approaching, and there are things you can do to minimize your chances of becoming another statistic. Travel in numbers. Carry a phone, GPS unit, or transponder. And never turn your back to Mother Nature. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.